We're going to do it. Yeah. Back in 2013, I was looking at some um, geometry and I discovered this polyhedron. Uh, I posted some code factors to the Google Geodesic Help Group uh, just for the people, the members there to maybe um, check it over and make sure that it was valid uh, and find out if they'd seen anything like it before because I was sure that this must have been discovered before. Um, and to my amazement, uh, in the last three or four years I've checked everywhere on the internet and there is no um, polyhedron like this. It um, it has uh, 30 regular hexagons, 12 regular pentagons, uh, 20 equilateral triangles and 60 of these green triangles which are isosceles. I've searched extensively over the last four years and I can find um, no reference to any polyhedron like this one. Um, the nearest I could find was uh, uh, the rectified truncated icosahedron. Uh, let's just have a quick look at that one now. This is the um, rectified truncated icosahedron, uh, and this was discovered by Craig, uh, Craig Kaplan, I believe, quite recently. Uh, and I believe he was amazed that it hadn't been discovered before either. This group. Um, come into what's believed to be the um, near-miss Johnston solids. Uh, a Johnston solid is one that has um, regular faces. Uh, for example, uh, regular hexagon, regular pentagon. This blue one, however, is not a equilateral triangle. It should, If it was to be a Johnston solid, it would have been an um, equilateral triangle. So these weirdly uh, somewhat equal ones are called near misses uh, and I think the one I've discovered uh, would fall into the same category. If we take a look at them both together uh, we can compare. Um, this is the already discovered uh, rectified truncated icosahedron. It's a right mouthful that is. Uh, it has 12 pentagons, 60 blue ones, which are isosceles, they're not quite equilateral, and it has 20 um, e uh, regular hexagons. Uh, the one I've discovered has 12 pentagons the same, it has 60 uh, isosceles, but it also has 20 equilateral triangles, and 30 regular hexagons. So it seems to be, it would fit to my mind in the same category as this one. Uh, it, everything's regular except for this one face, which is an, which has this one uh, triangle here, which is isosceles rather than regular. Let's look at these two different kinds of um, polyhedron. Um, and work out how they're made. This is an icosahedron uh, and I'll first of all show you how the rectified truncated icosahedron is made. Uh, this is Stella I'm working in. Stella, uh, it's basically, uh, I don't know what version I have but I think Stella 4D is the latest one uh, and it's quite handy for showing how um, polyhedron is made. Um, right, what you have to do is you have to truncate uh, that's a that's a 50% truncation. Let's let's go up to options. Uh, is it 33.333? Right. If we truncate to 33.3, which is a third, let's go back to this one. That's the first operation. If we take a icosahedron and uh, truncate it a third, 
It's difficult to show in here because it kind of happens instantly, but effectively these red um, ones are the icosahedron faces, and they would have they would have come up to a point here to make an equilateral triangle, but we've cut the corners off to make these um, pentagons. That's a um, truncated icosahedron, often called a buckyball. Most people are fairly familiar with that. Footballs are made like this geometry, yeah. Um, to get the rectified version, all you have to do is truncate it again. You're doing the same thing, but this time you do a 50% truncation, which is uh, called rectification. Not sure why, but uh, it is. There you go. Uh, and let's just accept that. There we go. And that's a rectified truncated icosahedron. It hasn't changed the the uh, this third the colour of this third one. It's just kept it the same. But you can change your colours after. So that's the family um, that I'm working with. Uh, right. Okay. Let's look at the process. Okay. Let's look at the process uh, for making this new polyhedron. This is a um, rhombic trichondrohedron. What's it the dual to? It's dual to the oh, that's interesting. Dual to the icosi dodecahedron. Just reminded myself of that. Right, if we start. We start with the um, trichondrohedron. Technically, the rhombic trichondrohedron. These are right mouthful. These names are, um, and we do uh, a similar process. We'll go up here and we'll, um, yeah, we've done that. We'll set, keep an eye on this carefully. And if we do truncate again, chopping the corners off, we get what looks like, just accept that, what looks very similar to the truncated icosahedron, or the buckyball, let's call it. Instead of the, um, Pentagons, these hexagons and pentagons, these are not regular hexagons because you, the, you can't fit three regular hexagons together like that. It would, it would form a, a flat surface. So these hexagons aren't re regular, um, but the, pen, the, the pentagons are. Uh, so what we've done is we've done a 33% truncation, and let's do uh, 50%, which is rectification, remember? We'll just see what that looks like now. Aha! And what we've got is something that's very nearly, uh, well, it, you could call it a rectified truncated trichondrohedron. Let's look a little bit closer, though. If you look here, let's zoom in. You can see that there's a little flat, tiny flat line, and there's a little tiny flat line here. So the geometry hasn't quite fit together. I, w I won't go into the reason for that, it's too uh, laborious and wrong, but th that is a very near what we're looking for and I think that's perhaps the problem why nobody's um, easily found it because you have to solve these anomalies. So I'll show you how I uh, make this in a much more accurate way. Right, we've got the uh, rhombic trichondrohedron here. There we go, and as you can see, I've got a. Uh, I've made this um, polyhedron the same way as I make all of mine in SketchUp, and that is um, that each of these they're all exactly the same. So I make I make them as a component, and then I uh, then I uh, put a component lay a component up like this. I can change this component, and all of them will change on the model as well. So. I'm going to show you how to build the, uh, what I would think is the nearest name for it would be a rectified truncated trichondrohedron. Uh, I'm just going to draw some lines for, yeah, right, we, we've, we've drawn a couple of uh, lines. Uh, this line here, we want to, uh, Turn. 
I'm just going to turn 30 degrees like that. So that gives us the guide. Uh, all I'm going to do is get, get a, a polygon tool um, and put a hexagon. If we follow this line here, we'll come to the edge. And obviously we hit the edge all the same time, like that. Oh, I've done that wrong. I put my guidelines right. What we've got to do is you've got to double click. There you go. Double click to uh, get in to edit your original component. Same thing we're doing. There at the intersection, we we'll let go. And what we've done is I'll go. I'll go back to the main. Thing. And what we've done is oh come on draw. There we go. We've um, drawn a hexagon on all of the faces of the trichondrohedron. Fairly simple process. So, we'll go back into our, we'll, what I'll do is I'll rub out these guidelines, we don't need the guidelines anymore. Rub all them out. We'll go back into this component. Uh, and all we do is we just remove, we take away everything that's um, trichondrohedron, take all of that away. All of that away, uh, and that gives us um, instead of having um, thirty trichondrohedron faces, we have thirty hexagon faces joined at that points. There we go. Now we'll see if I can get this up. There you go. And all you do to finish the uh, polyhedron is join the dots. You know, uh, all you have to do is, let me just put in, uh, we'll colour that in red, that's normally what you do, normal colour for a pentagon. So you would just fill in that gap, yeah, and there, that, that pentagon goes all the way around. Um, this, the one beside the pentagon is the green one, and this one here is the yellow one. So that's how you make it in SketchUp. Okay, I'll leave you with some statistics. Um, and if anyone um, has any prior knowledge of this polyhedron before... I think it was um, March 2013 when I discovered it. I'll I'll put all, uh, all the links um, in the description to uh, all, all the information that I have on on this. Uh, but to best of my knowledge, this has been undiscovered. Uh, so